Have you ever had something in Blender just vanish? You swear it's right there, but it's gone in the viewport, or it shows in the viewport but not in the render. Today I'll show you all of the different ways things can be hidden in Blender and how to get them back. Let's start with the basics. In object mode, pressing H hides your selection and Alt H brings it back. Pressing Shift H will hide everything else, and this is great when you want to work on a single object in a complicated scene. You can also hide things in edit mode. So if parts of your object disappear when you enter edit mode, press Alt H to show them again. Hiding can also be done through the outliner in Blender. In the top right corner, you can press the eye icons beside any of the objects, and this will hide them. This will do exactly the same as pressing H. You can also press the eye icon next to a collection to hide all objects in that collection, and to show them again, you'll have to press the icon once more. If you want to hide an object from the render, you can disable the render view by pressing the camera icon in the outliner. This is a great way to make sure that things don't show up in the render, such as boolean cutters or any temporary objects in your scene. But also this is an important thing to check if your render looks different to your viewport. You can disable all kinds of objects from your render, even lights and particle systems. So when rendering, always double check that everything you want to see is enabled for rendering. Another common one is local view. Pressing period on your keyboard allows you to change the transform pivot point for the scene, which can be useful for manipulating objects. However, right beside it is forward slash, and pressing this will isolate the selected objects. This is a temporary view, and you can't just press Alt H or use the outliner to bring anything back. The only way to know that you're in local view is in the top left corner of the viewport, and beside user perspective or user orthographic, it will say local. So then you can press forward slash again to go back to the normal view. Another reason something might disappear is clipping. There's a couple of different ways that clipping can occur, and the first one is called a clipping region. In solid view, if we press Alt B, we can draw a box around parts of our scene, and it will only show what's inside this box. This can be useful for debugging things in your scene. However, if you accidentally set one up with nothing inside it, it can look like your scene is empty. Like local view, you can see this in the top left of your viewport, it will say clipped, and to exit this clipping mode, you can press Alt B again. Blender can also clip things based on distance. If your object is very big, when you zoom out, your object will suddenly disappear, and then zooming back in will show your object, but it may look like it's being cut off. Or maybe you're working on something very small, and you're trying to zoom in on part of the model, and it just won't show it to you. You can change the clip, start, and end in the view tab to the right of the viewport. If your object is disappearing when you're close, you can turn down the clip start, and if you're making a huge city scene, you can turn up the clip end value until you can see everything. This clip start and end is actually just for the viewport. The camera has a separate clip start and clip end that you can see in the camera settings. So if you're rendering things and your scene is getting cut off, you can tweak these settings until everything is visible. Another sneaky way that things can be hidden in your scene is through the visibility options. You've probably never seen any of these options before, but from this small menu you can hide different types of objects in your scene. So you can hide all of the meshes in your scene, or lights, or grease pencil lines. Again, this can just be useful for debugging more complicated scenes. By default, the icon should have an open eye, but if you've accidentally hidden something, the eye will close, so keep an eye out for this one. And finally, we have Ray Visibility. In the Object Data tab, underneath Visibility, you can change how your object is rendered, so you can disable shadows or hide the object from light probes, but you can also simply hide the object from viewports and renders. These are both options that we can see in the Outliner. If we click the filter icon, we can enable the viewport display setting, and this is how we can see if the object is enabled or disabled in the viewport. This is different from hiding an object, because you can't bring it back by pressing Alt H, you have to enable the visibility again. Ray visibility is a little bit different. If you disable the camera ray visibility for your object, your object will be invisible to the camera. It will still be in the viewport, it will still be enabled for the render, but the camera cannot see it. So if you toggle into material or render view, and your object disappears, but you can still select it and see an outline, you'll need to enable camera ray visibility to see your object again. And that's it! I think these are the most common ways objects will disappear in Blender. Blender is a complicated software, and at some point you will accidentally click something and your objects will disappear, but I think we've covered most of the ways that you can get them back. Let me know what other common problems you've come across in Blender, and I'll see about making a video to help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.